Hello, sorry for the slight delay. We were laughing too hard. Never a bad thing though. So we have several items on our work agenda. Work session agenda. Uh, so I'll call this the work session to order on December 20th, 2023. Again, all three commissioners are in the present in the Nat U Hill room. So Mr. Cockrell, you have several things for us. The first is a resolution 2023-32 uh, regarding the expansion of the Charles Dean Wilderness and establishment of Benjamin Harris National Recreation Area. Yes, and this has come from, I believe, our Environmental Commission, and it, this is 90%, 95% uh, reflective of the, a resolution that was approved by the County Council. Um, and it's, it, the packet is, the, the item in the packet is 95% the same as well. The, the, the difference between what is in the packet and what you have before you is we had a, a whereas clause was added that reads, we believe that Preservation of hardwood forests like the Hoosier National Forest must be protected from logging, clear cutting, and burning as a mechanism to fight climate change. Mm -hmm. uh, Semicolon. That was added. Uh, there are a couple other minor uh, changes that were made to make it more readable, but I think the substance is the same, and that was the only real a change to that. Um, I believe that the Environmental Commission would love to get this to uh, the federal government as they make uh, as they make their way through this uh, question before them. So if you would want to approve it, we would make sure it gets to where it needs to go. Thank you. Questions or comments from my colleagues? Yeah, <clears throat> one of the problems with endangered species that a lot of people don't know about or understand is the fragment fragmentation of habitat in that so in so many places where there's really good environment for these species, roads have been put through to cut it up or parts are developed and others aren't. And as these get divided up like this, they become less and less amenable to the endangered species. Um, and this is going to help put together a fairly nice sized area that should support a lot of the species that are kind of disappearing from around here. Yep, I, I, it was incredible to read through the resolution and to actually have it, have some of those species named mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. here. Rattlesnakes, uh, bats, different birds. Um, so, and, and those are also species that transfer seeds and do other things as well. So mm -hmm. this is, yes, this is important. Uh, can you comment? No, I'm glad, glad to do this. It's important. So um, do we have a motion? I move approval of resolution 2023-32, the expansion of the Charles C. Dean Wilderness and the establishment of the Benjamin Harrison National Recreation Area. Second. Um, we've talked about it, but do you have more to add? Just the Environmental Commission will appreciate having this done and uh, we'll be moving it along. Great. Is there any public comment on this item? Seeing not, I'll, I call for a vote on Resolution 2023-32, Resolution of the Monroe County Commissioners regarding the expansion of the Charles C. Dean Wilderness and the establishment of the Benjamin Harrison National Recreation Area. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. Next item up, Mr. Cockrell again. Yes, my, the next item is an agreement with the City of Bloomington uh, for permission to use un digital underground fiber. Um, this agreement has remained unchanged for a number of years. I reviewed it with uh, Greg Crone, our technical service department uh, department head, and he agrees that this is still a good agreement and we still utilize these services. Uh, it's a no cost agreement um, that basically allows us to tap into their telecom hotel. Now, we've got some requirements with, with our things, but it really it's just 
we're not shifting any risks from us to the, they're just letting us utilize some of their fiber. Thank you. Questions or comments? No, I don't. <laughs> oh, vital. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important to keep this going. Yes. Is there any public comment on this item? Oh, I made a motion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, move approval of the agreement with City of Bloomington for permission uh, to utilize the digital underground fiber. Second. Okay, now, if anyone has anything else to add or public comment? Seeing none, call for a vote on the agreement with the City of Bloomington for permission to use digital underground fiber. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. Um, you have two more items that were listed. Yes, uh, my next item is uh, a memorandum of understanding with Area 10 Council on Aging of Monroe and Owen Counties, Inc. Uh, this is a, an agreement for $88,000, up to $88,000. Um, this is for them to continue to providing their on demand response um, uh, activities outside municipal boundaries within the county. This, is a, this has been a long, long time discussion uh, when the federal government through the state changed a rural transit's ability to provide this service. Um, we, we were working with the city of Bloomington and they currently, Area 10 currently provides a service. I think the working with Ellettsville, everybody felt more comfortable utilizing the same company to continue these things. Um, one, it was cheaper. Two, it, uh, it allowed the people who utilize these services to contact the same people with the same number. This is drafted so that we will re reimburse $27.41 per trip up to that $88,000. And that $88,000 is based upon the estimated number of trips that we expect for the year. Um, they will alert us when they get to 75% of the funds used so that we will know that. And, and I think the other difference between this and a lot of our other ARPA granting is that we have not determined the categorization of this at mm -hmm. this point. And so we are treating it as a lost revenue project, but we have language in here that once that process is complete, if we can utilize it as a restricted funds, we will, and they agree to follow our subrecipient policy if, if required. Mm -hmm. So that's really the, the big difference from a lot of these ARPA grants that we've looked at is that language itself. So if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. So should we start with a, a motion? I move approval of a memorandum of understanding uh, between Monroe County and Area 10. Second. Thank you. Okay, now questions or comments? No, I don't. No, I, uh, I appreciate that this got done so quickly. I'm sure that the residents of the county appreciate that this got done so quickly. Um, still lingering concerns about um, what Ellisville will be willing to do. Um, but we've got three months of their commitment at least, um, so those negotiations will continue. Uh, but the important part is, is it is seamless for our county residents to utilize this service, so they won't know. Uh, these, these, these are for doctor's appointments, getting to groceries, I mean, things that, that are not frivolous at all. Mm. So yes, any comments or questions? Nope. Is there any public comment? Seeing none, then I'll call for a vote on the memorandum of understanding between Monroe County and Area 10 Council on Aging. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. You have a fourth item, I believe, Mr. Trump. Yes, and, and this one is also ARPA related. Um, we, as you know, we're doing a rural housing repair program. And that program is designed where the township trustees will vet the, the individuals. Uh, they will get two quotes, which will go to the building department kind of without looking at who is doing the work, but they'll see if those prices are reasonable. Um, and then ultimately a decision will be made on 
which quote to utilize, and then also paying, authorizing that person to do it. Given that uh, we expect these rural housing repair things to be somewhat emergency, or at least have the potential to be somewhat emergency, and for, uh, for lack of a better, making sure private information says, stays private, uh, I would, I'm recommending that you guys authorize AMG Purdy to kind of make determinations on, uh, based upon the building departments, which quote to use and also authorizing the vendor to, to begin work, to do the work. Um, I move to authorize uh, Angie Purdy to review and approve uh, rural housing repair claims. Second. I'm totally in support of this, although I feel badly that we're adding something else onto Ms. Purdy's <laughs> workload. <laughs> Her plate is full. Yes, yes. This is a good one, though, isn't it, to be able to do? Any, any other comments? No, I don't. <laughs> Just to remind residents that if they have repairs that need to be done, they need to contact their township trustee if they live in Perry Township outside the city of Bloomington to contact the commissioner's office directly. Yes. And this is for up to $20,000. It's for structural things within the, the home and it's for um, owner occupied houses as well. Outside the city of Bloomington. Outside the city, yes. Thank you. Um, because the city has other funding available. Okay, is there any public comment on this? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote on authorizing Angie Purdy to determine uh, what's needed for the rural housing repair claims. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. And I believe Ms. Purdy has something she wants to bring forward. I do. Um, this is an updated um, janitorial service agreement with Tony Newton, who's doing business as commercial cleaning. And this is uh, reflecting a yearly overall payment of $203,220. And that's broken down through our North Showers building, our historic courthouse, and our health building. We also have, um, Mr. Newton does work with us um, for election operations mm -hmm. and that's paid um, that's addressed in this particular um, document however a specific amount overall for the year it's it's um, actually reflected at a range between 50 to 150 dollars per hour dependent upon what kind of election it is because that de that determines the number of just how heavy the traffic flow is and that is actually paid from the election um, fund. Mm -hmm. So I would say on that a not to exceed five thousand. Okay. And the other the other amount is coming out of county general buildings. Correct. That's just my guess. Okay. Yep. Uh, I move approval of a commercial cleaning contract with a contract with commercial cleaning, um, county general. $203,220 um, and an additional um, contract with um, for election services building um, with a not to exceed amount of $5,000 and that fund is the elections fund. Second. Did I get it all? You, you did. did. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any comment on this? You just do a great job. Really yeah. amazing work that they do. So, yes, yeah. Mr. Newton really keeps things mm -hmm. looking good. Uh, no complaints. If he wants to come take over my house, he's welcome to do that. <laughs> um, is there any public comment on this item? With that, I will call for a vote on the contract with commercial cleaning for the cleaning of various county buildings and also for election services building during the elections. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. Is there anything else for our work session today? Happy holidays to everyone. Yeah. Yes. Well, and happy new year. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Have a safe and healthy new year. 
uh, with that, we have no session again next week. So we'll be back on January the 3rd. Thank you, everybody.